Hi, everybody. Hi, Ellie. This is a no synchronous lesson to Ellie, Elizabeth, a student of uh, our pre intermediate English course. Here we are going to work on questions, question words, and question orders today. Um, so I'm going to start sharing with you this page from the book we are working on with Ellie. And in this case, we have this topic, which says, I recommend you to read with me. Use it question word once to complete the questions about Parchesi, the national game of India. That is a, a choice. Another option is to stop the video, read the task, and then listen to my reading and check if your pronunciation is correct. Here we've got a picture of the Parchesi, and we have a, a number of questions which don't have the question word. We have to place the correct question word from this box to each one of these questions. How do we know which of the question words is the suitable? Because of the question itself and because of we've got the answer. So for example, number A, letter A, it's an example and it says, mm -mm -mm of game is parkesi or parchisi. I don't actually know the correct pronunciation because it's an Indian word. So don't worry, don't worry about this. If you say parchisi or parkesi or parkisi, they might be okay. So the, the original question was mm -mm -mm, of game is parchesi. The answer is it's a board game like chess or backgammon. And the question word chosen is what sort? What sort of game is parkesi? You can only use once each question word. So I recommend you now to stop the video, to try to complete the question words, and then continue seeing the video so you can confirm if your answers were okay. Now let's go with letter, letter B. Mm -mm -mm, country, does it come from originally? And the answer is India. So the question word to this question would be which or what, both are grammatically, grammatically okay, which or what country does it come from originally? Letter C. Do people play it now? And the answer is all over the world, it's very popular in the USA. So the correct question a, a word would be where, because the answer is a place all over the world, very popular in the USA. Where do people play it now all over the world? Letter D. Mm -mm -mm. Does parkesi or parchisi mean? And the answer is it comes from pasis, which means 25. So here we can use the question what, the question word what. What does parkesi mean? So in this case, since only once uh, only one time it was possible to use each word. If you use what in question in letter B, which is correct grammatically, you cannot say which does parkesi mean, because the difference between what and which is they are both they both mean que o cual. In this case, the meaning would be que significa parquesi, but 
in the case of which you have a number of options to choose. Yes, for example, what is your favorite color? You can say any color. Which is your favorite, favorite color, green or blue? So um, grammatically, it's correct. What country does it come from originally? But what uh, we, we cannot use which in question D. We can use only what. So that would be a, a, a thing to notice. Letter E says, mm -mm -mm, did people start playing it? And the answer is hundreds of years ago, but it only came to Europe in the 19th century. The answer is a period of time, a moment in the time. So it's asking about when. When. Here we, we notice the differences between each question word. One ask about something, one, about, one, uh, one asks about a place, this one about a time. Number letter F, PPP invented it, and the answer is nobody knows. This is a tough one. What do you think? This is asking about a person who invented it. It's anonymous. Nobody knows who invented it since it's so ancient. Letter D, mm -mm -mm, people can play. The answer is four. It's an amount of person, uh, amount of people. So the question would be how many people can play? Quanta. What sort, que tipo? These are uh, complex uh, question words, non-simple ones. Not only one word form the question, but like how much does something cost? What sort, what kind of music do you like? How many people can play? How much sugar do we have? Letter H, plee, 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 do you play? The missing ones are how long, how, where, sorry, where, we already use it. How, how long, and why? So here, how do you play? How long do you play? Why do you play? They are all grammatically correct but the answer is by moving all your pieces to the center of the board moving all your pieces to the center of the board so is this the answer to how do you play como jugas how long do you play cuán largo cuánto tiempo jugas or why do you play? Por qué jugas? This is the answer to cómo jugas. How do you play? So we've got the two last ones, which uh, remember we are we have uh, why and how long. These are the only questions words missing. Letter um, I, it's PPP does a game last, usually about half an hour. In this case, it's telling us cuán largo es un juego, cuánto dura, cuánto tiempo. So in this case, how long would be suitable? How long does a game last? And the last one, because we have no other, it's why. But does it have sense? Is, is this okay? Or it has no sense, the question. Let's check. Why is it so popular? Yeah, it, the, grammatically is correct. 
Let's look at the answer. Because it's easy to learn, but difficult to play well. So, yes, this is the explanation por qué la es tan popular el juego. So, in this case, this is okay. Very good. Excellent. Then, up to here. Let's move on and let's take a look at this ex, uh, explanation. It says, stop the video and read and then play it again so you can check if the information, the pronunciation, not the information, sorry, was correct. It says, there are two different types of questions with who and with what. Number one or letter A, one of these types of questions is who is the subject of the sentence? So the, the question word plays the role in the question itself, uh, plays the uh, subject role. So for example, who is speaking? ¿Quién está hablando? Está hablando es mi verbo. ¿Quién hace ese verbo? El sujeto. ¿Conozco al sujeto? No, por eso lo estoy preguntando. Es como que dijera, Ileana está hablando. Ileana es el sujeto. ¿Quién está hablando? Porque no saben si es Ileana, Elizabeth o quién. ¿Quién está hablando? Entonces ahí está cumpliendo ese rol de sujeto. When this happens, cuando esto pasa, there is no inversion of subject and verb. There is no change in the order of the question. But in the case where who, option B, example B, where who is the object, not subject, the object of the sentence, the object is the one who receives the action. Yes, for example, I talk to you, You are the object. You receive my talking. I am the subject. I'm talking. So in this case, we have the, um, the question, who are you speaking to? And if you pay attention, in this case, there is inversion of subject and, ver and verb. Are you speaking is not You are speaking, right? Statement, affirmative sentence. You are speaking. Question order, are you speaking? And we add the question word at the beginning. Always the question words. Who, how, how long, where, which, what, when. All the question words always go at the beginning of the sentence. Then I change order and continue. In this case, this is what happens. So we have, are you speaking? Question order, question word, who are you speaking? And we need to because you speak to somebody. Who are you speaking to? Yeah. Why doesn't this happen in the first example? Because who, is the subject. So when we ask about who, quien, we think, first of all, the pronoun as a third person. I don't say who are speaking or who am speaking. I think as, as if who is a he, she, it, as third person, la tercera persona del singular. He, she, it, el, ella, e, e, eso. Who is speaking? And we don't change order. For example, um, who is this pencil? For example. The same happens with uh, what? For example. Um, what? are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What are you? Not you are. What are you doing? But I can say, um, uh, 
Uh, let me think an example. For example, what is this? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is the subject? I'm asking about the subject. Okay. Another, another um, detail is that when you are using the present and the past simple, we, we don't use in with, with who, with who, sorry, we don't use um, do or did auxiliaries in questions where who or what is the subject. For example, who knows the answer would be in the present tense is the present form for um, a question with where who is the subject. ¿Quién sabe la respuesta? We should not say who does know the answer. Notice that does know the answer would be the proper order or, or structure of a question. Do you like ice cream? Does your boyfriend work in a um, factory? Um, yeah, we use auxiliaries, except when we use, when we um, have a question with who as a subject. The same happened with what happened. What happened, it's an, another example where what is the subject. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Quién hace la acción de pasar? Eso que no sé qué pasó. Sí, por eso pregunto. Pero entonces, no sé, pasó el tren. Bueno, ¿quién es el sujeto del tren? Bueno, ¿Qué pasó? Okay. What happened? Not what did happen in the past. This don't worry, you don't need to remember this. You don't need to be analyzing when you face a question. Ah, oh, is who the subject? Is who the object? Who is the object? Am I the object? You don't need to do that. You will use the language, you will hear questions, you will make questions, and because of the use of it, you will improve or you will get what the correct form is. And you will avoid because it sounds weird because you never heard it that way, uh, the not correct option. For example, you will not hear who does know the answer. So we, you, when you want to say who knows the answer and you think who does know the answer, you will say like, mm, this is weird. So you go for the other option. Okay, so let's see this in the, the, in the field, in la cancha. It says subject and object questions, just the thing we have been talking about. Decide if, if who is the subject or object of the questions below. So we have to circle the correct form for the question. Letter A, it's an example. Who wants or who does want a cup of coffee? Which is the correct one? Who wants a cup of coffee? Stop the video, solve the other uh, questions, the other exercises, and then play it again to check your answers. Who won or who did win the football, football match last night? Who won? ¿Quién ganó? ¿Quién hizo esta acción de ganar el partido de fútbol? Who want to go with or who do you want to go with? The question, the correct option would be who do you want to go with? ¿Con quién? ¿Qué decir? No quién va. Who knows the right answer or who does know the right answer? This is 
actually the same example as we've got here. So the correct option would be quien sabe la respuesta correcta. Quien es el sujeto? Quien es el que sabe? Carla sabe. Quien sabe? Who already know? Or who do you already know? It is in this class would be the second option. Uh, who do you already know in this class? A quien conoces? No, quien conoce. Is object. Letter F. Who told you the news or who did tell you the news? Quien te dijo? Quien hizo la acción? Quien habló? Who told you? Letter G. Who live with or who do you live with? This is the option. Con quien vivís? Vos haces la acción de vivir. Con quien sería objeto. Who lives in the flat next door or who does live in the flat next door? In this case, the question is asking about the person who actually lives in the flat next door. So, esa persona es el sujeto. ¿Quién vive al lado? Who smokes or who does smoke? Smokes would be... The correct answer, quien fuma. And the last one, who broke or who did break my pen? Quien hizo la acción de romper, broke, mi lapicera. So this would be the correct option. Okay. Um, this is it for today. I imagine that even though the video might not be so long, if you stop and work on it and you solve the, um, the exercises, it would take you more or less an hour. That is the, the amount of, or, or the length of um, our usual lessons. In this case, I'm talking to Ellie. And if you have any doubt, please, write to me by WhatsApp or by Classroom, with wherever you prefer, uh, before our next lesson on Thursday, so we can make good use of this lesson today. To everybody else, I uh, recommend you that if you have any doubt, uh, please comment or write to our social networks in Facebook, Reducativa Profes, or Instagram, Redu, Reducativa, um, and we can help you anytime. Thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for being there, and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.